everybody and welcome if you're new here welcome my name is Rhonda and over here we just chit chat we have a good time like I'm pretty sure you guys can see my husband's slippers in the back if you were curious about the Amazon slippers I got from my husband he wears them I think he forgot he left him in here anyways over here we keep it cute or put it on mute and I've got a she glam haul for y'all so if you've never heard of she glam they are a extension I guess of Shein if you follow me on my other channel, Hot Mess Mama Vlogs, I do a ton of try on, Curvy Girl try-on hauls over there. And I try and keep them pretty much more on the affordable side. So you'll see a lot of Shein Curve hauls, a lot of Timu hauls. I do Tord hauls over there as well, but I do it when there's like big styles, cause like, hello, Tord's expensive. So I try a lot of different brands out over there, but one of the big ones that I'm always hauling is from Shein. So speaking of which, my, my my top is from Shein and my cozy uh, leggings are actually from Yvette Sports. So anywho, I picked up a bunch of makeup to do a video for you all and we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Oh, this video is not sponsored. I bought everything with my own money, but they did give us a coupon code HOTMESS15 that'll save you 15% over at Shein. Are you leaving? Okay. Where are you going? All right. Sorry about that. Um, my, my boy was leaving, so. <laughs> you know, you know the drill, like the mom hugs, 50 questions, um, drive safe, all of, the, you know, y'all know, y'all know. So, anywho, let's go ahead and jump into, I am going to be doing, coming back in, well, just shut up, Father. Okay, ready? So, here's the one thing I'm super excited about, and I feel like I've shown this to you guys, but I don't think I actually showed you all this She Glam haul. So this is the She Glam Afterglow palette. It is an eyeshadow palette. So it's in your standard type of cardboard packaging. And does this look familiar to you all at all? Look at that. So if you were thinking the Natasha Denona, is it called the gold? I think it's called the gold palette. I'm not for sure, but um, it, I have the palette. I, I know that. It was one of my favoriteest palettes when it launched. Like I was obsessed with it. Uh, so I'm going to come back and do, is it a dupe or just a waste of money with this palette? Uh, I know somebody's going to be like, what was the price of this? I don't know, other than it was really affordable and I used my own coupon code, Hotmans15, and say 15%. It's not an affiliate code, by the way, either, unfortunately. So, anywho, I just thought this was so flipping pretty. And sorry if the lighting is wonky. Actually, I'm not sorry. That's it's real life. And I'm using natural lighting in here and it's a dark dear, dreary day here in Kentucky. But I will be back to do is it a dupe or just a waste of money on that. Uh next in here is another She Glam palette. This is a floral flush blush palette. And I mean, if I had to take a wild guess, I don't know, tw uh, tw under 12, maybe 6. Honestly, I have no clue. Just stay tuned. Maybe I'll know by the time I actually film the video. So this is in another type of cardboard packaging. And the, this one doesn't have a mirror. I don't, does this one have a mirror? I didn't pay attention. I was so in love with the shadows. No, which is fine. I feel like that just cuts down on the price. And I will tell you all, I have used some of the She Glam formula before because I did Is It A Dupe or Just A Waste Of Money? I think with one of their palettes, it was the large Natasha Denona palette that she has. I want to say I did, I, I picked that one up per y'all's request. So like I told y'all, 2023, we are bringing back Is It A Dupe or Just A Waste Of Money like ham sandwich. If you guys are new to the channel, first and foremost, hi, thank you and welcome, welcome to the fam bam. Um, is It A Dupe or Just A Waste Of Money is a series that I started on my channel in like 2017, 2018. And it literally stems from 2007 Rhonda who was newly divorced and couldn't afford Jack Poo and had three little munchkins to support and it was a way for me to find affordable makeup that just wasn't available to me other than like at the Dollar Tree or the Dollar General back in the day and I, I don't know if any of it's making sense but Long story long, because that's what I do, it is never forgetting where I came from. So yeah, just because I can afford the Natasha Denona palette now, doesn't mean that, you know, everybody wants to spend that much. I mean, sometimes I don't want to spend that much, and I won't. Like, I used to buy all of her palettes. I don't buy all of her palettes anymore. Nine times out of ten, I'm buying the dupe palette. So 
Anywho, it's a series. There's literally over 100 videos that I have done. I will have the playlist at the end of today's video for you all. I'll try and remember to link it in the description box for you all. But I had a lot of you all in 2022 say how much you missed that series. So it's coming back strong. And my goal is to at least give you all at least two of those videos a month on this channel. So stick around, stay tuned. I'd greatly appreciate it. Feel free to share the playlist. I would definitely appreciate it. But anywho, all of that to say, I found this really cute six pan palette. I'm not gonna do any of the swatches or anything in today's video because they will come back with their own, um, their own video. I will tell you all, I actually have, I think it's a 2018, 2017 Tarte, you guys, I don't know if they still do it, the Tarte Blush Holiday Palette. Do y'all remember those? Well, this was very, very similar. So here's an up close once again. And I will, um, I will put down below, I'll link them for you all uh, down below if you guys want to go ahead and pick them up. So when the video rolls around, you guys can be putting it on with me because that could be fun, right? All right, next in here, um, this was actually a repurchase. This is the Baked Glow Setting Powder that I picked up. I actually did a video on it and I felt like it was a very comparable, not a spot on dupe, but a very comparable dupe to the Huda Beauty palette. No, to the Huda Beauty powder. <laughs> so uh, I was almost out of it, so I went ahead and repurchased. So you know it's good if it's actually a repurchase, and it's literally so affordable. So I think you definitely get a lot more in the Huda Beauty powder, but I mean, I really liked it, and it wore to me just like the Huda Beauty. And I can't remember which shade it is. It's like the pinky tone shade that I get. And it's literally so comparable to that. Like I said, right down to the way it wears throughout the day. Now my favorite powder is the Patrick Star One Size. That stuff is freaking amazing. I actually just repurchased um, some of that and it's on its way from Sephora. All right, so this is kind of a repurchase. Um, I actually already own this in a different color. This is the Chic Glam Color Bloom Day Glow Liquid Blush. So I already own this. I forget the name of the shade that I own it in, but I really like it. And when I picked it up, I am the type of person that when I get new makeup, and I don't think it's a bad thing, um, but I'll hyper-focus on it for a good while. And then I get bored, um, and this is the bad part. I'll shove it off to the side, out of sight, out of mind, and I bring in new. And it's just like a, a vicious cycle um, and how people do declutters like I know my friends Anne and and Jody are always doing like have been doing declutters I'm like how y'all do that I can't do that so anywho they have changed the packaging up a little bit now I do believe the one I had was more of like a satin type of um, blush and this one well maybe it is maybe it's just in a different color but I am gonna do a whole try on with these like I said I already knew I liked them and I bought more so I also bought I think this is a different let's see what is this this is in the shade risky business and then this one is in terracotta I think this one is the bronzer yeah it's a contour bronzer which I already own in a lighter shade but I really liked it and it wore really well and you guys know how much I love cream products like I have my Saint cream products on today and yeah they I like honestly I really like how they changed the component on here it's kind of a uh, it's heavier than the our initial launch of it Ooh. so it's like a sponge tip applicator same like the blush and then you dot it on it blends out really well but I really like how they changed the component the other one is like similar to this shape but this is more textury and a little bit bougier looking kind of gives me KKW vibes all right what else do we have oh I got another blush I think it's part of the hyper fit fixation you start fixating on it and it's like, I need it in every color. I do it with my clothes as well. You can't beat the price. I wanna say these were like five or six bucks. And then again, you get your coupon code and free shipping. So, so that's what it looks like. And then, there you go. That kind of looks familiar. I may already have that one, but that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> 
<laughs> no worries. This they actually, She Glam sent to me. Um, I did a haul and they had let me pick some stuff out over on my uh, vlog channel. And this is the She Glam Influencer Full Coverage Foundation Balm. So when I do a try on, I'll be doing the balm, the blushers, the contour, the powder, the, the powder blush, all of that, and probably a different, a different um, doohickey. I don't know what what's the doohickey, Rhonda? Eyeshadow. Okay, so it's got a little thingy on here. The shade I chose was Cyan. So I think I've got. I thought I had some of their concealer. Actually, I know I do. And that reminded me of the Huda Beauty. I thought I bought some in this order and I think I forgot. It was like a meant to buy. But anywho, that is my She Glam order. Like I said, I'm going to come back and put all of this stuff on for y'all. I've been liking doing... I've been liking doing... I like doing the get ready with me's where I kind of like, you know you guys get to know me a little bit more so with that said if you have little questions or something that maybe that's what I could do and they get ready with me like get ready with me get to know me I can talk about my kitty cats and my kitty cam and all of that stuff um, but if you have any questions and stuff maybe you could just leave them in the comment section and maybe I can just use that as part of my get ready with me video okay that's not a bad idea. It just came to my head. Anyways, so uh, definitely stick around. Stay tuned. If you are curious about my lashes, Kiss did send over the Meredith Duxbury. Duxbury? I, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's these lashes right here. Um, they're really comfortable. I feel like they're really floofy, uh, and they're actually in Drunk Drunken Love. Anyways, friends, I am going to jump off here and unbox my Ipsy PR, which you may see that one first, uh, the AIA Beauty Box, and I got some PR stuff to go over with y'all. So, anyways, if you guys made it to the end of today's video, thank you. I do appreciate it. Anyways, a huge shout out and thank you to my YouTube members. You don't have to help support the channel, but you choose to, and I appreciate every single one of you all. And don't forget to check out my other channels, Hot Miss Mama Vlogs for gir Curvy Girl Fashion Hauls over there, and then, of course, Hot Miss in the kitchen. I'm on TikTok and Instagram at hummusmama of four and until next time, kisses from Kentucky. Mwah! Bye friends.